Hello, everyone. Today we are gathered here to hold a group meeting on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The company we choose is Starbucks. The first major ethical and sustainability issue related to the SDG is number eight. This is a vast topic and the United Nations has broken it down into three subtopics. Today, I will focus on the issue of employment, decent work for all and social protection. Crucial aspects of decent work are broadly rooted in the targets of many of the other 16 girls. Agenda 21 requires governments to establish measures to generate remunerative employment opportunities directly or indirectly. In addition, it reiterates the need to create employment opportunities for vulnerable groups, especially women, the urban poor, unemployed rural laborers, and low-income urban residents. According to the hiring commitments in this report, Starbucks promised that hire 5,000 veterans and military spouses annually in the United States and 10,000 refugees globally by 2022. A certain proportion of women of people of color will be in retail, uh, manufacturing, senior leadership, and other positions. In addition to this, Starbucks also reported that they operated six sign stores around the world in 2020 to provide development opportunities for deaf and hard of hearing people and drive greater, drive greater community connection. Their licensed partner in India opened two stores staffed entirely by women, creating a welcome space for women to grow and develop their careers at Starbucks. Well, there is an article on the website Starbucks Stories and News, which tells us that Starbucks offer on-the-job training programs for people with cognitive and physical disabilities through Starbucks Inclusion Academy and prepares them for retail jobs. Starbucks China Social Impact Highlights pointed out that they launched the Rural Mother Acceleration Program, providing training for 1,500 cooperative women in handicraft skills and creative ability to help low-income rural women to work and start their own business at home. Well, so I believe Starbucks has contributed to creating jobs for vulnerable groups. Here are my reasons. The Disability Equality Index, it is a comprehensive benchmarking tool that helps companies build a roadmap of measurable, tangible actions that they can take to achieve disability inclusion and equality. And each company receives a score on a scale of zero to 100, with those earning 80 and above recognized as best a place to work for disability inclusion. So we can find that Starbucks scored 100 in 2021. Obviously, it did a really good job. Um, what are your thoughts on this issue, Chu Shu Yi? Okay, well, um, what you just mentioned in the DEI index session provides a very good evidence of the problem faced by Starbucks. So um, I also agree that Starbucks has made some positive responses to the issue of sustainability because, well, I also collected some relevant information to prove Starbucks has taken concerted action to promote inclusive and sustainable econ economic growth. And um, one signif significant point is to collaborate with other company. So Starbucks has signed an agreement with Nestle to authorize the Swiss giant to sell Starbucks goods outside its coffee shop chain. So, yeah. Starbucks is a large company with operations in more than three countries. So in Saudi Arabia, Starbucks and the local government launched a series of projects to help students to find jobs, aiming to make you know, valuable contributions to the community and Saudi economy. At the same time in India, Starbucks has opened stores operated only by women 
which shows that Starbucks claim that 70% of the jobs are held by women in their company is not, it's, you know, no longer an empty lie. So as far as goal eight is concerned, Starbucks has indeed implemented a lot of things they claim to accomplish, but you know, there is still a phenomenon that Starbucks cannot give decent jobs to job seekers. Well, here I want you all to look at this slide. The average turnover rate of employees in China catering industry is 28.6%, and that of Starbucks is about 25%. You know, this is not an optimistic phenomenon because at the same time, the turnover rate of Heidi Lau in the catering industry is contro controlled to approximately 10%. So Starbucks obviously has great deficiencies. Therefore, Starbucks is limited in creating decent jobs. But the CEO of the Starbucks China still said that Starbucks has been rated as one of the best employers in China many times. So this means that the operation of Starbucks in some parts of China has been artificially concealed and this information has not been made public. Besides when creating jobs, the employment demand is mostly determined by experience. Moreover, some um, professionals believe that Starbucks lacks scientific analysis of post setting and comprehensive ability evaluation system for new employees. Therefore, it is not difficult to admit that Starbucks has achieved the SDG and complied with most of their agreements, but you know, it still has some problems in creating decent jobs. So next, I'd like to hear other team members to analyze some Starbucks and uh, Go12. Thank you, Chu Shuyi. And as a world-famous catering business, Starbucks is facing traditional ethical and sustainability issues. In the exhibit of United Nations 17 groups, especially in Group 12, responsible consumption and production, the United Nations has recognized that the unsustainable use of natural resources is a growing problem. For Starbucks, which specialized in beverage sales, the use of disposable packaging has always been a traditional problem. Fortunately, Starbucks have engaged in many works to meet the growth of the United Nations. To meet the change of the 2008 financial crisis, Starbucks developed a sustainable business model by focusing on a a specific business design developed uh, considering three key points. And these are the beginning of recognized nations to, to sustainable programs. As a grassroots level, in every stone, Starbucks have created a series called Greenstone, which consists by seven parts. And in Starbucks 2021 report, we can also see that Starbucks is actively engaged in a lot of work on sustainable development. When produced hot cups, 10% post-consumer fiber is contained currently, and they have made the target that double recyclability of their cups from 2016 to 2020. 2022. And also, Starbucks have completed the rollout of stroller lights across the US and Canada. And they decided to in limited single use plastic straws by the end of 2021. In the term of total energy consumption, direct operations compared to the FY19. The data of FY20 has a reduction of more than 100,000 points. Expect managing waste or sustainable development programs of itself. Starbucks also pay attention to ethical programs. The rate of ethical sourced coffee is 98.6% and their growth is committed to 100%. In the accept of tea and cocoa, 99.7% of tea sourced from Rainforest Alliance certified farms 
100% of cocoa-based beverage in, uh, in, uh, ingredients and are uh, ethically sourced from either cocoa practice verified supply chain or unsatisfied farm. And these resources are also be committed to 100%. Okay, uh, thanks for the presentation of Zhou. And uh, uh, here I want to say, judging from the results of the comparison between the goals of the United Nations and the behavior of the cooperation, Starbucks has performed well on related issues. Uh, as we have seen, Starbucks has worked hard to achieve many goals and has set more goals for the future in solving its own problems. And uh, it's remarkable that they even try to promote their associated industries to achieve this goal through their own policies. For example, uh, necessary in-person on-farm audits will be carried on before Starbucks choosing the source of coffee. And they distributed 10 million trees to farmers in Mexico, Guatemala, and uh, Earl uh, Salvador in financial year 2020. Uh, they have distributed nearly 50 million coffee trees to farmers over the past five years. Also, there are 200,000 farmers have been trended by Starbucks at the end of 2020, and uh, over 40,000 of them was trained online in recent financial year. This can be a model for large companies to fulfill their social responsibilities. But in the 2020s report, uh, we can also note the objectivity of this narrative. In the report, Starbucks not only admitted that some goals have not been achieved due to the COVID-19, for example here, COVID restrictions prevented the completion of necessary in-person or farm audits. And they also admitted that the achievements of some goals were actually due to the COVID-19 and gave the parts that were not brought about by its own efforts. For example, here in the aspect of waste sent to landfill due to data improvement and the COVID, the data has 12% reduction compared to the last year. In addition to the annual report in 2020, including the previous reports, we can see the sincerity of Starbucks to contribute to the relevant field, rather than PR needs only. Regarding to goal eight and 12, solving ethical and sustainability issues is a common goal of mankind, which cannot be accomplished, accomplished overnight nor can be done by a single heroic superman once and for all. It requires all our businesses, all of us, working together and the sustainability. That's all of our presentation. Thank you.